Jake. Three words are your only warning before your helicopter crashes into the ocean. The cabin flips on impact and rapidly fills with water. It's dark. You're terrified, completely disoriented, and your overwhelmingly visceral reaction, panic, is not the only enemy. It's also true that almost every survival instinct and reaction you have is probably wrong. It helps greatly if the experience is a simulation, although that doesn't mean it's not scary. I don't know if I'm going to survive in the North Atlantic when we go down. The training that we do here <laughs> asks people to confront some, some pretty primal fears. You're confronted with a relatively confined space, limited visibility or darkness, and for some people, a, a fear of water. Survival Systems USA in Groton is a multifaceted educational facility using state-of-the-art, you are absolutely there, simulation theater, along with classroom theory, to provide an astonishing variety of underwater, air crash, and sea survival scenarios. Clients range from ocean researchers and charter pilots to police and military personnel. Most of our courses are based around some kind of aircraft uh, basis, whether you're a pilot for a company, you're a pilot on your own. Could be frequent passengers that are flying quite a bit, or anyone who's in the aviation side uh, doing some kind of job there. We have a, a multitude of, of different one-day courses. Like the but most of it deals with evacuation training, and then once we do get out of that airframe, um, how do we can continue to survive until the rescue, you know, the Coast Guard or, or Police Department, whatever it is, gets on the scene. At the heart of survival systems are the MET, modular egress training simulators, nicknamed the Dunker. The simulators can be arranged to replicate a helicopter, plane cockpit, or airline cabin. And chillingly Xeroxes the experience of escaping a crash with great realism, right down to the seat belts, the door handles, and absolutely the flash flood water effects. I went through the crash simulation three times. And the first thing you figure out is that almost every survival instinct and reaction you have is counterintuitive. When people see and they feel that water coming in around them, they, they want to act. They want to do something as soon as they possibly can. But if we're fighting against that water trying to come in, typically we waste time, we waste energy, and we waste that precious breath hold. So we sit there in that seat in that brace position, wait for that motion to stop, and then do the work we need to do. And that way we're not fighting against the water. And more than likely fighting against something, we're not going to win. I mean, there's, there's a lot of weight to that water coming in. The second time through, it's much easier going. And then the third time, the farewell dunking is a lot different when they throw a hurricane in. Suppose you survive the crash, or you're in a boat that sinks, or for whatever reason, you just find yourself floating in the ocean a long way from help. Survival systems will actually set you adrift. Despite the safety personnel, despite the boats, and despite how close to shore we, we really are when we do the training, um, people still feel that this is for real. Picture being 1,200 miles offshore on a 300-foot vessel and that vessel going down, the sheer fear of being on a vessel that's going to sink. The whole event is just terrifying to begin with. Now you have the fear of getting into a life raft. One, two, three. I would hope anyone that goes through that would be in fear. But at the same time, you, fear is a good thing, but you, you just don't want to be unprepared. You want to know what to do with that fear. If it takes hold of you, then you know, you're in major trouble. While the students are learning practical skills like launching a flare, inflating a lifeboat and coexisting on a lifeboat, they are also learning a more generally applicable lesson. One, two, three. And how to cope with the day-to-day, -day, far less dramatic, stressful situations of life. What I find is it just gives me a lot less to worry about, more confidence or more courage to face the, the worst situation that comes along. I think one of the bigger things is to prepare people for life in general. People are oftentimes, when they complete the course, the feedback we get is that I never thought I could do it. I was terrified in the beginning and now I have a new found sense of confidence. This is a very unique kind of stress that we feel that when people uh, complete this training, they're, they're different for life. Third student player, all player. Really? Really? 